Hey YouTube, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel and happen to stumble by, I'm your girl Bella, and I would totally love if you join me on my YouTube adventures. Hello, hello, sweet friends. I know, you're thinking, Bella, what's going on? First of all, I would love to thank everybody for the really kind messages and um, everybody that reached out to me in the, on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, um, wondering what's wrong with me and how I'm doing and how I'm feeling and all that stuff. I am feeling a lot better. I am not 100% better, but I'm feeling a lot, lot better. And um, I missed you guys so much. I think that is the longest longest hiatus I've ever taken but I think my body needed it it just I you know I just got sick and nothing we can do about getting sick so when you get sick you gotta make yourself get better right okay so I'm back today and you saw the title of the video and uh, I'm very very excited to bring you this video now I haven't done a hutch video in a while I didn't do one for Christmas. I don't remember if I did one for the fall. I might have, might have. I don't remember. Did I do one? I don't know, I'd have to check my playlist. <laughs> well, I don't remember. Okay, this is one of my favorite things to decorate. One of my absolute favorite things to decorate because this is so unexpected and so out of the box. First of all, it is a super, super traditional hutch with a twist. Yes, my friend showed this, premiered this, and I was hook, line, and sinker. And ever since then, I have been doing this. So my hutch is um, has mirrored back. The It's mirrored in the back. So what I did is I did it off, uh, like you won't see me in the camera, putting the objects in because when I do it like that, I find it uh, distracts you from seeing what I've done. But we're gonna roll the clips right now and I'll be right back and we'll go through it and I'll give you some design tips and tell you why I'm doing it and what I'm doing to change the room because I really, really, really want to change my dining room. So let's roll the clips, let's go. Hello, my sweet friends. So here's a before look of my hutch. I did, um, I put my blue and white collection of ginger jars on the top, and I just wanted to give you an overall look of what the hutch looks like empty um, before we start decorating. Okay, so here you can tell that I am layering these two platters and they're just white stoneware platters with a little bit of design on them just to give it some interest. And um, here's the little lantern from my shop, but I'll explain all this in depth. I just wanted to give you a look of what is um, what I'm doing. I'm finally pulling it all together with a little blue and white. And I love this blue and white. And I'm telling you, it is timeless and elegant and it really does look pretty. A wreath, Bella, really? Guys, I'm telling you, certain unexpected things, when you pair them all together, really, really make all the difference. These little plastic plate holders are a must. I have them linked, um, like you, a plethora of them, in my Amazon store. And you're probably thinking, Bella, where did you get that cute little picture from? <laughs> Dollar Tree, y'all. Dollar Tree. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Dollar Tree. And does it coordinate? Yes, ma'am, it does.
Okay, so here you're going to see me use a collection of my decanters. And I love, love, love grouping collections together because I think it gives it a lot of interest. And you also get to enjoy your collections. So if you have a collection, I'm telling you, take it out, use it. Why not? The trick to this, when you're adding a collection, is tie it in with something. And that's exactly what I did. I found this tiny little uh, pot at a thrift store. I think it was a dollar, I'm telling you. And I just added a little greenery to it. And, it add, and now it all ties in together. Okay, I'm going to work only on one side. I'm only going to show you how I style the one side. But the other side mimics exactly this side. It's exactly the same. You'll see it when it's all completed. And I'm telling you, you need these little plastic um, plate holders. They're amazing for a whole bunch of things. It's always a good idea to use um, those LED flameless candles, especially within a hutch or something like that. And here I missed a clip, I guess, where I added the uh, pot and the corbel, but you get the idea. And we'll talk about it more in depth later on in the video. Okay, tips and tricks. Tips and tricks when making vignettes. Vignettes are what we use in design or in our homes to make the pretty stuff, the pretty stuff. This is like the, you know, the bones and then this is the pretty stuff layered pieces layered pieces and and i really i really wanted it to have a cohesive look so there's blue and white and there's little birds and white and greenery should i tell you now what i'm thinking okay let me tell you now what i'm thinking well first of all let's explain this okay so we got the blue and white because that's our jumping off point you saw the top of the hutch uh, with my collection of uh, apothecary jars or ginger jars, whatever you want to call them. And I had the leftover pitcher. These are everyday simple like trays, uh, platters that you can use in your home. This white little lantern, it's also kind of like an art piece. Um, it's from my shop. It's still available if anybody wants it. And then this little bird cage 
is the beginning of the birds. And um, I, I love this thing. It's from Hobby Lobby. I think it's so beautiful. And it's a little bird, but you know, she went to nest. Now, you want to take this design, and I left this to the end because I wanted to kind of do this with you guys. You take these, um, this, you know, this pick from uh, Hobby Lobby in Canada. You know where, Dollarama, that's right. And you take a few sprigs, and you just kind of place a sprig here and there because that, anytime you add greenery, Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm bending my greenery. And it's, and you know, this plastic greenery is great. And you probably, and a lot of people think, oh, plastic greenery, come on, really? But it just gives it a little life. Just, just a smidge. You don't need much. And this is a Vignetta 5. So, you know, I've talked about this before. Threes, fives, sevens. Sevens are really hard to do, girls. I, I don't recommend. Second shelf. <laughs> I mean, really? Dollar Tree? Can you believe I found this at Dollar Tree? I was in shock. So we got the blue and white theme. We got the greenery. We got the white chippiness that kind of goes with this chippiness. And birds. Are they identical? No, but they're coordinated. Perfect coordination. Okay, then collections. My thinking. Um, this is the center, right? So this is where your eye is going to go to the most. This, I have a giant collection on the top. And I thought another collection would be great. My collection of, um, what are these called? <laughs> decanters. <laughs> decanters. I love decanters. I, I, I have more. I collect them. And then a little pop of blue and white and a little greenery. Perfect, right? You're thinking, fella, it's like, it's on point. Guys, this is what makes great design. When you plan it out, you think of it, you kind of play with your decor and you, and you plan it out, this makes a really good statement. Got a collection on top, you have some interest, you're more interest, I tied this collection in with the collection on the top using the blue and white and the greenery. Let's move to the side. Things first, does it look like something's missing? Cause it does to me, it does to me. And I really wanted to do this together with you guys on film. It really does to me, greenery. Now we got the blue and white. We have the chippiness of this um, beautiful, bird cage that follows our bird cage theme a little concrete bird on a pedestal terrible look terrible 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 do not leave it like that sprig of greenery you know our favorite greenery this is my favorite stuff kind of bend it bend it twist it make it really cute put your greenery in front to hide it smidge of greenery goes such a long way such a long way. I think it needs just a little bit more on that one. So I'm gonna cut off one more piece like this. You just separate these, cut them off with wire clippers, fan this out, make it cute, make it have movement. You know, that's a little trick with these kind of faux, um, faux greenery. You wanna really play with them and make them look good. I like this one because do you see the different colors? See the different greens? That's what I think um, makes me like this one the most. There we go. I think that's enough. That is enough. Okay, so that's that. So this really does tie in to what is going on. Now this here, I love it. It's not identical to the other side because I don't have two of these birds. I only have one of these birds from Pier 1, and the other bird is just a little bit smaller. But I did the whole architectural chippiness again with greenery and a bird. And that is so unexpected, a Corbel back there, but I think it works because it ties the grays in, and it ties the gray in from our very first object, 
and I think it just really coordinates together and it gives you a great look. And I don't think this shelf needs more greenery. Now, if you're more extra than I am, please, by all means, add more greenery around here. Could add a little votive candle if you wanted, but then you're going into a whole different kind of vignette. The bottom vignette. Super simple, not much to it, and I couldn't find anything else to put there that would coordinate properly. So I kind of left it alone, but you know me, I think it needs greenery. So I'm gonna cut a few sprigs off and be done with it. And then I will show you the full hutch. like this video i hope it gave you lots and lots and lots of inspiration to go do what you love in your dining rooms and if you have a hutch if you have a buffet if you just take an idea from here and add it to the top of a table um the back of a sofa table wherever you want to make a gorgeous vignette i hope it gave you some inspiration and I hope you liked this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and share. Please send me a comment. I'm dying, dying to hear from you guys. I've missed you all so very much. I know, I know. We haven't declared in like two weeks. We haven't done anything. I've been so sick and my house is really showing it. <laughs> um, now, I want to tell you, I am going to change stuff around in my dining room. And I want to do like a whole dining room reveal before I start decorating for spring. And I have the greatest idea for this room um, come spring and summer. I really do. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to add my um, spring color in here with the blue because I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it blue, but I'm gonna show you how to add spring to your everyday stuff. And then we're gonna do summer because I like it. I think it looks great. I am gonna add stuff to the top for um, spring and summer, but I cannot wait. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will be back to see the next one. I cannot wait to show you the reveal of the rest of the room. I want to make a centerpiece with you guys. I haven't done a DIY in forever, forever in a day. And I, I'm dying to do a DIY. I'm dying to do something that will coordinate with this for a DIY. So that you'll see coming up next. And I'm going to be revamping my laundry room. <laughs> and I say that, you know, laundry room. So you'll have to come back and see what I do there. And I hope you have a fantastic day ahead, and I'll see you on Friday. Bye, YouTube. Bye, everybody. Mwah. See you guys.